Dad is back. Jimmy. Dad is back. Mama's back. Uh, that was for the Big Brother 10 fans out there. Uh, now, Team GB may not have won gold today, but if there were a medal for every time we took the piss out of a housemate, we would be draped in a Union Jack, running and crying around a stadium as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they find these people to actually do this. Uh, but... <laughs> There isn't, so we better get started. Uh, now, it appears that Luke A has been having premonitions. Check this out. Do you remember last year when they, uh, the, the parents and family voted for him? Imagine his fucking parents nominated for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there will be more on that. Like, that. <laughs> I've had a poly tooth and I can't speak. Uh, there will be more on that later on. I was about to say it again. Uh, first up, though, shall we meet our panel? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah, let's do it. OK, so she was here two weeks ago and she's come back for more, which is awesome because it means we haven't deeply offended someone. It's the lovely Angelica Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Joining her, Three Weeks once described him as an urban, moronic, hedonistic, hilarious clown. Hang on, guys. I am not talking about Jamie East. It is, of course, comedian Jacob Edwards. Yeah. And finally, talking of moronic clowns, yes, <laughs> this time I do mean the man who is sitting over there with unruly hair and ridiculous trousers. It's Jamie East! <laughs> Then. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, right, OK. Now, last night, we revealed this week's nominations twist. It was a bit on the side exclusive, which yeah. is hashtag OBS. Uh, tonight, we'll be bringing you the results. It is going to be interesting. But before we do, uh, we should uh, get talking um, uh, about the show we just watched, shouldn't we? Yeah. 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 And I should learn how to talk. I've had three days off and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so, Angelica, it seems pretty relaxed in yeah. the house for once. Uh, do you think we finally have a happy house? I think tonight's show showed that they actually can be quite nice because over the last few weeks they have been a bit vile to each other. Let's be honest, it, it's been uncomfortable viewing yeah. and some harsh things have been said. So it's quite clever what Big Brother did. You know, they had to bond and sort of played on their vulnerable They did it points. well. Yeah, they did it really well. The confession box was genius. Uh, we're going to talk about the confessions box in just a minute. Uh, Jamie, do you think the niceness has anything to do with the looming nominations process that they were all going through last night? Well, they've talked about it quite a lot. I think it does a little bit because it's always on their minds kind of Sunday night. Uh, but I also think, I think that, again, the confessions box thing, it made people think about what they've done mm. yeah. and seek redemption for their bad, nasty acts. Yeah. Do you think that they probably thought that housemates were watching and they should say the right thing as well? Well, I think Big Brother has caught them out a few times, so they probably don't know who's watching and you know, what's going to happen. Yeah. But I do think they actually did take the time, like Jamie said, to, to think about yeah. what was being said and what they were saying and reflecting on their behaviour. They were all sitting on the naughty step for a while, having to think about what yeah. they'd done. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, going back to the happiness of the house and how unusual it is, do you think Caroline's departure has anything to do with it? Yeah, I think everyone is jacked up on sugar. I think that's... They the are, aren't they? <laughs> It's all down to Caroline. I think nominations are null and void. I would just be an angry bear if I had that much sugar over the course of three days. Um, I think the house has lost its kind of pantomime villain. Yes. So I think a lot of other kind of simmering dislikes for different people are kind of coming out. Because she was like the focus, wasn't Like she? who? Um, like, I think Luke... A is coming out of it quite badly at the moment. Okay. Uh, um, we've got more to see on Luke A a little bit later on. Um, it seems the harmony continued this morning as shock horror. They haven't been arguing <gasps> at all. Ooh. Uh, take a look at this never before seen footage. Looks like it's going to be an amazing day. I know. Um... I think it's a bit earlier today because my sunbed isn't in the oh. it isn't in the sun. Mm. Normally all three of us would have put the sun. Mm. This day it's not. It's touching them, they're still wet. I think we should have a bit of a rain. Yeah. Look. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, 
Oh, I've got a show, like, rhubarb farts today. Oh, Have you? <laughs> really? I think it's all roast. Yeah, it probably is. Do that to me as well. Um, guys, is the harmony going to last no, in the house? No. <laughs> of course, it's not going to last. It actually made a very pleasant change to see a very harmonic, uh, happy house. Yeah. And it was an enjoyable episode to watch. But there's no way it's going to last. As soon as they know he's up for nomination, it's all going to kick off. So you think, as Jacob said, the simmering yeah. that's happening is yeah, it's only temporary. Explode. It's only temporary because most of them are all dislikable characters. You can name them <laughs> one hand who you like. And um, it's all going to kick off. Anybody think the harmony will last? Yeah. Oh, we have one positive thinking gentleman in the audience. <laughs> I think it's going to be a bit strategic now we're approaching the final. People are going to be a bit nicer to each other. They want the vote. They want to stay in. They don't want to be nominated. So I think it could, a few of them could be a bit nicer than they otherwise would have been. Good okay, point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Especially Connor. I think Connor's playing a good game. Yeah. He's been really nice because there's no, like, I wanted him out a few weeks back, but even this week I was thinking, oh, well, you know, he even massaged Dina's hand, you know, he's m making he's little steps, been, He's been steps. sitting back a bit, hasn't yeah. he? And he's mentioned a couple of times, he just sits back and he watches yeah. everything happen and watches it all unfold. Those two are desperate to apologise to each other. They're this desperate is, to yeah. make your yeah. thing, isn't it, Jamie? my theory. Connor and Dina are so close to actually just really getting to grips with it and... and Apologising to each other. Well, I, I, I think, think Connor I think is he, desperate to desperate to apologise. I think he's afraid. Yeah. He's afraid he'll actually get on with Dina. He needs. He'll look to, like a think? complete idiot, won't he? Uh, but I, but I because think there's he, no reason to not get on with Dina. She seems like a nice yeah. girl. Yeah, who, yeah, you know, we've watched her for yeah. however many weeks now. But he just is just won't let it go. No. Yeah. He, but I, but I think he's, he knows that he has to. And if he does. Any, it's anyone's game because uh, you know after after his comments earlier on in the series he was stuffed uh, but he really needs to get over that and he needs to uh, uh, tell her what he's done and, uh, and apologise to her yeah. and then it's an open get open ballpark. Okay, uh, Jacob, what did you make to Ashley's reaction to Luke S's confession? <laughs> <laughs> he finally did it. <laughs> I think Ashley is someone who who listens and then goes away into a dark corner and kind of computes. What has actually gone in? That's, I don't I mean, think she just does a bit... listen. Do you think? think do you well. think that she knew what he'd said? No. Did she get no. it? No, no, not at he, all. He, he did it in so. a very, very sneaky and brilliant yeah. way. Though he brushed over it. Yeah, didn't he's he? kind of. Oh, you'll never guess what I said. <laughs> I just said this thing about Peter and Ke Peter, uh, Peter and Jordan and uh, the, and Mark Wright, and it was it was ever so funny. I feel a bit like I might come across a bit bad. What he forgot to say is that he. Uh, the bit where he said he just went, he just went in there yeah. and get with any old bird. Yeah. <laughs> didn't mention that bit, no. funnily enough. <laughs> yeah, he didn't uh, actually say what happened. No. He sort of skirts around and she's like, oh, what, what, what? Yeah. And then I think she thinks it's a photo shoot, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah she mentioned a shoot, so who knows what she thinks. Uh, do you think he was right, though, to confess to her, Angelica? <laughs> yeah, because he started panicking, because he knows he's watching <laughs> Big Brother's confession box. I think he's worried that'll come out. And I think he's, he, he cares what people think of him. He's really he showy. Does, yeah. That's why he's got his, you know, the lip mark on his bicep. Yeah. He wants to win it badly. Yeah. And he's not going to win it if people think he's been a complete knob. Yeah. I think that whole... Um, uh, Jacob, what do you make to Ashley having elocution lessons? <laughs> <laughs> As elocutional. <laughs> elocutional. <laughs> I, ju I just love the way she talks. I think she kind of starts talking and there's like a noise that comes out. And then every so often there is a thought from her brain which kind of interrupts the noise that's coming out of her <laughs> mouth. I, I think it would be a shame. I think she's the most genuine person in there and I think she's great and I think she should just stick to what she's got. I, I did think. kind of buy her apology as yeah. well this evening. I think it seemed really genuine. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, it shows her to being a nice girl. Very quickly, what, did you, what was your little comment then? Oh, Did God, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, they could make a whole show about her about having elocution having lessons. lessons. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's what this lot have got to say but if there's something that you guys would like to get off your chest then Jamie is going to be all in the phone room and he is happy to lend an ear look how happy this little face is look how happy it is oh it's really happy uh, right after the break <laughs> we'll be revealing the results of this week's nominations I haven't put my belt on and my jeans are falling down uh, but if you can't wait until then head to the website where you can find out who is up for eviction uh, right now so we'll see you in a bit Welcome back to Bit on the Side. We may be 
in the shadow of the main show, but we stand strong. Yeah. Yeah. We are proud of our lack of morality, yeah. our sinful behaviour, yeah. and our ridiculous obsession with exclusives. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, right, it's Monday, it's 10.16, it's five star, and it's part two of Bit on the Side. What does that mean? No. Nominations! Uh, right, I love this bit. It's time to get serious. Can we have a lighting change and tension music, please? <laughs> Let's find out who will be fighting for survival this week. Pray silence. It's Big Brother. This is Big Brother. This week, housemates will not be nominating. Instead... Housemates, friends and family you will hate. be nominating oh. on their behalf. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. I'm nominated. Oh, God. The first nomination will be... Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my gosh. Becky. Oh, God. Second nomination is... Um, it's going to be Scott. Um. Well, my first nomination is Ashley. Second nomination would be Becky. <gasps> My first nomination, hmm, that's hard, kind of, <laughs> and my second nomination is Ashley. My first nomination is for Dina. How hard does she look on TV? Go, go. <laughs> my second nomination is Lucky. My first nomination is Dina. Oh. oh. My second nomination is for Luke A. My first nomination is for Luke He said, um, yeah, she respects me like she respects her BMI. Are you <laughs> disgusting person, Luke My goodness. <laughs> My goodness, honey. Brilliant. This is well done. My second nomination is for Dina. Oh, no, it's not me, Donna. I don't know. It's a Louise Dawn. God, this is just... <laughs> <laughs> first nomination is going to be Luke A. Short and sweet. The second nomination is Adam. Dude, honestly, <laughs> my mum's on cloud nine. So <laughs> no, she no, she right. yeah. no, it's totally fine. My first nomination is Adam. He's fucking huge. And he's yeah. massive, my dad. He's like six, he's six foot five. For some reason, I thought he'd be bald here. Yeah. The second nomination is Luke A. Mm. My first nomination is Becky. Love you, babe. That's fair enough. My second nomination is Ashley. Oh, wow. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are Ashley, Becky, <laughs> Becky, yeah, I got three. Dina, and Luke A. These four housemates will face this week's public vote. So, to confirm, the housemates facing the public vote this week are Ashley, Becky, Dina and Luke A. Can we have the lights back up, please? So, uh, we saw Becky's sister give her reasons uh, for her nomination this week, which will make, show, make, make sense later on in the show. But if you want to see all the reasons why they're up, then make sure you catch the highlight show tomorrow evening. So, are the right people up? Yes. Oh, yes. You are so dominant tonight. Yes. I just hate Becky a lot. Oh, why? Because she's just a snake and just <laughs> disgusting and a disappointment. So, yeah. oh, really? I yeah. thought she was going to be fantastic, but she's just annoying. And aside from Becky... I don't like Dina either. <laughs> I, know. I just don't like... Are we going to be here all night? <laughs> <laughs> just don't like humans. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, I think... Oh, uh, let's put... Paul, yeah, let me get to this gentleman. Um, OK, so I agree with uh, Becky and... Is it Ashley? Why so? Um, because, obviously, their characteristics haven't been too good. Um, yeah, Becky's not very nice. And Ashley, the same. But I think Connor should have been there as well. Because yeah, people are yeah, forgetting yeah. what he said about the epil epilator and how he was to Dina. So okay. I think that he should be up as well. And maybe Luke S, because, obviously, he's fake relationship. Oh, uh, Angelica, would the result have been the same if it had been regular noms? No, it would have been different. Who do you think would have been up? I think Connor. Yeah. I'm with you. I think Connor, um, Luke S and Becky and Ashley. I think they've had a rough week and a half and I think they should really have been up. 
I mean, but it's different as well when, you, when you're in the house or when you're out the house. And l- like some of them said, you know, their parents probably not thinking about who they want to vote for, really. You know, when you're affected by something, you really know what you're doing. Yes. But then I think it's going to be difficult because it's going to be even more personal. So I, I'm quite interested to see how... They have a biased view, don't they, yeah. friends and family? Because yeah. it's obviously their loved ones in there. But, so they, also, but they, also, they also pick out the bits that... Uh, they know their, you know, their sons and their daughters and stuff like that more than anybody else. They know the bits that get mm. to them the most. They, yeah. they can tell when they're really upset. Yeah. So they know... The I things think, that yeah, we wouldn't true. necessarily yeah, see. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We'll pick up on. Yeah. OK. Um, Jacob, Luke A got the most votes from friends and family. Are you surprised? What, what does he expect? I think he's got... Who's his friend in the house? Adam? Adam That's, and Dina? Yeah, Adam Sarah? and Dina. Sarah? We saw Sarah, Sarah. pinch his Even troops. Scott. I don't think Maybe? Scott would have voted for him. I don't think Scott would have voted. You know, I, I think, think he would have been—he would have been safe if yeah. it had just been the housemates nominating. I think he's going to be the person who, when he gets out of the house and looks back, is going to be the most kind of embarrassed about. Really? Like the. Well, who, do, I what think do you like guys the think? The house has got to him. <laughs> Shall I come to you? You're shaking your head vigorously. The person to be most embarrassed, I would imagine, would be one who's left recently, uh, Caroline. Caroline. Yeah. I imagine five years time when she watches herself. She'd be very embarrassed. Yeah. Do you know what? That that girl is so sure of herself that I'm not sure she would. I think she thinks that whatever she does is absolutely fine. She lives on another planet. Um, um, you're not Luke. Uh, how is Luke going to react? Do you think? Uh, as badly as I think he, as I think we'll probably see in a bit. I think uh, he's tried so hard to be everybody's friend, and he. I think he's very much reminds me of Aaron in the sense that he is a big fan of Big Brother and he's watched and he's studied and he's the one that kind of talks about Big Brother more than any other housemate uh, in the house to other housemates when they've come out and spoken. They're always saying, Luke is the, is the one that's always saying, oh, those will, that'll be in your best bits, etc., etc., etc. So I think he's studied Big Brother more than any and he'll be disappointed in himself mm-hmm. that he's now up for uh, eviction. OK. Uh, Luke, S and Sara received no votes. Were you surprised by that? Yeah. Not no? Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak for him, don't worry. Can we be friends? I wasn't surprised at... Um, yeah, we can be friends. I wasn't surprised at Sara, but don't Luke Don't down. S- <laughs> <laughs> Luke, Luke S should have been up, definitely. Luke S should have been yeah, up. Yeah, he's fake, yeah, yeah. he's, like, false, he's not a very nice person. Mm-hmm. He's lied to Ashley and he's try to explain to her but very sketchily I didn't like it okay uh, and you were yeah I mean how can Ashley's dad <laughs> not put Luke up yeah. you know was, as he was watching the programme we are watching we actually spoke to uh, we spoke to Ashley's brother on the phone and he did say that you know that, that they, they didn't kind of blame him that it was kind of under pressure and they, they didn't really see it in a bad way. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Lucas was worried that he was hated by the outside world after that task. Um, do you think, Jacob, that this proves it wrong for him? I just think there are people in the house who are disliked more than him. Right. Um, but he is, for me, the person who kind of tries to make it look as if he cares the least about what's going on outside the house. Right. But he's one of the people who cares the most. Do you think he falls into that floater category? <laughs> because we... we <laughs> <laughs> no, like a housemate floater. Get them a toilet um, brush. Because we saw Connor tonight talk about, oh, the floaters, watch them all. But yeah. does Luke S fit into that category as well, do you think? Yeah, I think he, he's a floater. Maybe Sarah. They're just Scott. there. The fi- are they floaters the or are they just th- not quite as bonkers as the other. Yeah, maybe they're just normal. They're just normal and everyone's mad. I think he wants to seem quite aloof. Like, the whole onion thing, I think, day to day, that wouldn't bother him. But as soon as that was said on TV... I think he does care what... People think about him in the house and out the house. I just so, think there's some people like him. As soon as you said the thing them. on the on, in the photo shoot thing, as soon as you said that, he knew that he dropped a massive bollock. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah, um, and he panicked. Didn't he? You've been <laughs> waiting for ages to say that, Jay, haven't you? Sorry. <laughs> You've been waiting for ages know, to say know, that. He I dropped know. a massive bollock, literally. No, literally. Uh, right, that is what this lot have got to say. Unfortunately, we've run out of time in that debate. The debate, um, but let's see how the housemates have been dealing with the news of the eviction. <laughs> No, he said something, oh, she's got more respect for me than a BMI or something. Yeah. She's got a, that is disgusting. Yeah, she's got as much as that she is absolutely, absolutely. To say that to a girl is... 
to say that to a girl is absolutely <laughs> disgusting. I think it's disgusting. How dare he say that? How dare he? <laughs> it's disgusting. Look at him, look at him, look at him. It's absolutely disgusting. Is that just not over the top or is it me? Um, I really want to go and apologise to her, but while she's you, like that... You've apologised already, haven't you? The BMI thing? No. no. Okay. One second. No, no, I don't... Please. Look, please, look, I do not What I said, what I said, I'm sorry. I'm 100% no, 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 sorry no, no, about it. You're not even going to hear me out. You're not going to hear me out. I do not want to hear you out, Luke. I've never... All right, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Like, Tried apologising, but not happening. Yes. I've never had a more exciting 20 minutes in my whole entire life. I couldn't have got put up for eviction any better way. I'm really confused. Is she upset? Is she happy? What's happening? As much as people don't like Becky, I, don't, I think that was out of order because, like... Oh, you just don't say that. I no, know what it's like to be in that position. You it's not that. on. Very quickly, so we'll yeah, go right. she's right, but he obviously didn't think she was going to find out about it, so in his defence... Everyone's thought... saying things in there that they don't think people are going to find out about. Uh, right, we know who's up, but who is going to go? That is entirely down to you. Here's how you save your faith. This week, Ashley, Dina, Luke and Becky all face the public vote. Who stays? You decide. From a landline, call 0901 61617 and add the number of the housemate. From a mobile, call 65058 and add the number of the housemate. For Ashley, add 01. For Dina, add 08. For Luke A, add 10. For Becky, add 17. Calls cost no more than 36p from BT landlines or any mobile. Calls from other landlines may vary. If you usually vote by Facebook, technical reasons mean that voting is currently unavailable. Other voting routes are open and will close in Friday's live eviction show. Further updates will be posted on Facebook. Votes cast after the lines close won't count, but you may still be charged. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash bbvote. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side, the show that lets anyone come in our sweaty box. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> stay with us, stay with us. Uh, so, Ashley, Becky, Dina and Luke A are going to be facing the public vote this week. How do you think they're taking it? Well, I'm guessing that Luke A and Dina are having a calm convo in the garden about being themselves. Becky is absolutely fuming. Uh, and Dina doesn't know, uh, sorry, Ashley doesn't know what the fuck she's done wrong. Do you know what I mean? Uh, right, watch this. It's pretty unbelievable who is sitting with who. Adam, would yeah. you lick Connor's arsehole for a, a cigarette? Oh. One cigarette? No. no. Two cigarettes? No. But it's shaving. <laughs> it's, sha it's not hair, it's shaving. Oh, I would probably, I How actually, many cigarettes I would, would you not, want to lick his arsehole? <laughs> Once I said that, not for yeah, one. I you were like, not, not for one. How many would you do it for? I, I would not lick out of that soul at all. For 20. No. 20 cigarettes no. right now. No. Just go, and then I would, <laughs> and then I would give you, I would give you an extra 20 on top just for the feeling of it. That's called prostitution. <laughs> would, um, would, you, you would. You would. No, you would. would. I you would. would not. You would. I would not. For 40 cigarettes. Lick Connor's asshole? Yeah, just would one, you, that just one little strike. Like, that would be, yeah, for that I would, yeah. No. 40 cigarettes, yeah. Well, well, that's right then, so you would like Luke's ass then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Connor integrating with the outsiders. And talk about TMI to me, what about that? That was graphic. Uh, right, so that's how they're reacting after the nominations reveal. But what have they been up to this week? Here to explain what is really going on within the bungalow is Dr Pam Spur. Yeah! Hello, Pam. Hello, nice gorgeous. to see you again. Uh, so, what have you noticed this week? This is the perfect time in the series to talk about LTR. That's long-term resilience. Okay. The special forces look for this when they're putting people in a dangerous situation yeah. with lots of stresses and strains over a long period. Now, I think this week we should look at Sara because she's Why been, Sara? Well, she's been demonstrating good levels of LTR until this point, and she'd be dead pleased to know that just like the Queen... 
She's so much like the Queen, who also has LTR. Uh, so what we've happened in the la- what's happened in the last week, though, is we've seen it crumble, and this is the critical phase, six to seven weeks in, okay. where even if you've started well, you can start showing the signs, and it's Caroline she had a run-in with, it was Dina she had a run-in with, Becky she had a run-in Why with. Why do you think it's starting to happen now? Because this is the point where if you don't have true LTR... And you've been, you, you, and she's kept it, you know, she's kept her nose clean. And I think that's due to a lot of the sort of personality traits she has. Okay. But she's kept her nose clean until this point. And at some point, all that you've been bottling up and keeping calm, it has to come out. Okay. Shall we have a look at her and Becky in action? Yes. Let's have a look. Literally, you might only have two days left now. I might only have like a week left. I'm not <laughs> buddy sitting here falling out with my friends. It's I don't want to fly with you. That's why I want to speak to you. Away, sorry. Becky, I don't want to fly with you. If I didn't want to fly with you, I wouldn't speak to you again. I like Dina and Cal- Caroline and stuff. And I would just like, oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Just like, that's the, I understand that. Don't just, say it. Like, just don't bring it up in front of people like that. Because it's just cringe I don't, I just said, I, Becky, all I said to you was, are you annoyed at me? That's yeah. it. And, and you was just like, that's why I was a bit upset. And I wasn't upset. Was, I wasn't, yeah, you said, you just said that. That's why I'm a bit upset with you because you seem No, angry, I thought, it? yeah, you didn't see how angry at me. So what do you make of that, Pam? Well, it's a classic symptom of your LTR crumbling because normally she'd have great judgment and she wouldn't tackle Becky like that because everyone in the house knows Becky does not like it when you come up to her and try and have a conversation yeah. about an issue. So it, that's not Sarah sticking up for herself? No, that is just about not picking her battle wisely okay. and just her judgment is a bit lacking at this point. Before, I think it a few weeks ago, she might have tried tackling Becky, see that she can't get anywhere with Becky and left it. But she kept she kept at it. She kept on it. Exactly. So how do you um, how do you tackle someone like Becky then, if well, she doesn't want to? Well, with face Becky, you also with something like that. You have to catch her when she's on a high. So if she's just had a lot of fun with something, that's the point to say, "Oh God, it's great when you're like this." But you know, really, we need to sort of backtrack. And can we talk about what happened the other day? So okay. you always have to catch her on a high. So do you think the housemates are seeing Sara in a different light now? Oh so much in a different light. I mean, look at Luke S, Connor and Becky the other day were saying, she's so gullible. She's being like sucked into the, you know, the outsiders group. And of course the outsiders there, she said to Adam how she trusts the outsiders. She goes up and squeezes, you know, Luke A's cheeks, showing that she really wants to be part of the group. So everyone is seeing her in this different light. Yeah, she still seems to float quite well though, doesn't she? She floats quite well, but this time it's, the emphasis has gone towards the outsiders. And, And Scott, of course, they had their moment last night where they were, you know, saying, wouldn't it be nice if each other won? <laughs> Lovely moment. <laughs> uh, so where else have you seen people's tolerance levels uh, tested and pushed? Well, when you look at people like, say, Luke A, Adam, Luke S, Connor, in a sense, they've all had good levels of LTR. The box task last night, though, that was the real test of their LTR. And amazingly, of course, Dina just showed she pulled it out of the bag, too. And yeah, again, she she's did. been she one of these really ones well. who's, who's been able to cope quite well with, with all the stresses and strains and not have major, major bust-ups bust very frequently. Was that more, uh, more a test of egos, though? Because it, it was very much... Uh... Oh. Like, a bit of a standoff, wasn't it? It's like, I ain't moving. I am not moving. What it was, it was symbolic of the outsiders and the it was insiders. It was a real cockfight. Uh, yeah, 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 Sorry, it is, but it was. It, is. it was a very big cockfight, wasn't it? And so what we saw with them was that Luke S, Luke A standing off. Luke A's concentration. He was determined not to go before Luke S. Then, of course, we had with, with Adam and Connor, what, you know, that, that, that altercation. Yeah. Um, but the thing is about Luke A... When you looked at his facial expression, there was no way he was going to give up. And Lucas realized that. The thing is, I think Lucas felt he had the upper hand anyway, and so he was quite happy to go before Luke. Okay. Uh, We saw Adam and Connor have a heated conversation during the task. Let's take a look at it. The people that you choose to hang around with and your actions shows that you don't care about anybody else but you, and that's it. So you're saying because I was Caroline's friend that I don't care about what everybody else thinks? Uh, yeah, obviously. Right. So Scott was carrying his friend, so he, he, he was pissed off, so you yes. think he didn't care? Yeah, he didn't know, though. Yeah, I don't know. But that's, he reacted differently. Yeah, he did react yeah. differently. He reacted oh. angry and upset. Yeah, because he takes life too seriously. I don't take life too seriously. We're on a fucking studio on a TV show, right. and it's a fucking chance of a lifetime, and I do not give a fuck what happens on this show. I, I'm not worried about people's feelings on here. So what do you make of that? Well, what we see is, of course, it's two alpha males posturing. They want to sort of see each other out through both their words and their body language. But notice whose feet were doing the flight or fight 
business. It was Connor's feet. He was like tapping, tapping, do I go, do I stay? So he was actually feeling more insecure in that issue. And also, if you saw Adam, he was very erect. Although he was crossing his arms in a very defensive gesture, right. he was still standing very tall trying to absolutely dominate Connor, who was getting more and more upset by it. So yeah. in a sense, Adam kind of won out on that alpha male battle. Um, we saw Connor there mention that uh, this is a... a a set and this is a, a game show so is the game plan becoming more evident this week certainly everybody goes in there with a game plan there's it's a fallacy that a game plan has to be negative and what we've seen this week is two types of game plans come to the fore to the fore there's the ego power game plan which is very a dominant plan where you, where you very much think about yourself and that's kind of connor a lot of his behavior like after chocolate gate you know laughing at everybody's faces so that in that way your plan is to kind of dominate dominate your way through the house and on the other hand we have the ego enhancement type of game plan and that's scott and a lot of that has to do with scott's personality i, I call him like the chocolate box effect because he's got <laughs> you open the lid he's got a characteristic for everybody which is why he's always kind of so he adapts. He does, and he to, sailed to below everyone. the sort of nominations level for so long because he doesn't annoy people enough. But he's got the playful side, which, say, Becky loves. He's got the assertive side where people admire the fact that he can tell, like, yeah. he'd tell Caroline yeah. off about something, he'd tell Becky off about something. And he's also got that very smart side where, with the political speech, he could have had the cult of Scott. They were hanging on every word of his. You know, I would have joined the cult. Okay, uh, Pam, I'm so sorry we've run out of time. Uh, Dr. Pam Spur, everyone. <laughs> Uh, right, speaking uh, of, uh, of enlightenment, uh, Jamie, are you there? Jay? I am. Jamie, I love that. Do you like that? The gentlemen that did these caricatures of us are fabulous, aren't they? I know, they're lovely. Look at yours. <laughs> Not being funny, but you've had some work done. I know. <laughs> they're you're, lifted you're, you're, and much bigger. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for those. Uh, first up, thank you to Sean Smith. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you to Sean Smith for those brilliant caricatures. Right, you guys are loving a bit of time on the phone with me, it seems, and apparently there are some people on the lines right now. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm sure Good. are. Good. Uh, okay, who's up? We have got... Stop laughing. <laughs> We've got uh, Sharon from Chippenham. Hello, Sharon from Chippenham. How are you? Hello, Jamie. Well, actually, I'm absolutely furious. Not with... What, with me? No, not with you. It's actually uh, a story about my friend's dog, Bella, and she's a huge fan of Big Brother. She watches the show every night, sitting in her dotty push chair. I mean, that push chair is the canine equivalent of the diary room chair in her eyes. Sorry, oh, whoa, whoa, let me just stop you there. Yes. You're phoning up about your friend's dog? Yes. Okay. Who watches Big Brother in her push chair. Her pu have you got a photo of her? Do we have a photo? Yes, we've got a photo, apparently. Okay, yes. Can we anyway, see the yesterday, some... Hang on, you, is that the dog in the push chair? Yes, there she is. That's Bella. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, yesterday, some moron stole her push chair from the driveway. I mean, as you can imagine, Bella is absolutely devastated. And I just want that low life who took her push chair to give it back to her. Yeah, well, if you're out there and you've nicked that push chair and it smells a bit doggy, you've stolen Bella's push chair. Give the push chair back. Do let us know if you get your push chair back. And if, you, if anyone wants to donate a push chair, I'm sure we can put them in touch. Uh, thank you very much for your call. Let's move on, shall we? Who have we got? Uh, we've got Jane from Preston. Joan from Preston. Have you got an animal without a push chair? No, I haven't, Jamie. Good. What would you like to talk about? Luke A, please. OK. Go for your life. Right. Well, you might not like it, but I don't like Luke A. I don't mind it. I don't mind which housemate anybody likes or doesn't like. So why right. don't you like Luke A? Right, thank you. Well, I think he's a smug, look at me, sneaky, poison-mouthed yeah. bore. Why? <laughs> he's got no sense of humour whatsoever, and he's a very bad loser. And if I started saying why, I'd be on too long, Jamie. OK. But if people have been watching the show... They must surely realise what he is. Do you think he's? Do you think he's in a spot of danger this week then? Definitely, and please, everybody, don't vote the girls no. out. Well, they're no. all ten times more genuine than he'll ever be. There are always we always we always get a uh, mixed response for all housemates in the house. Uh, thank you very much for your call, though. Who have we got else? Who else have we got now? Don't laugh. <laughs> don't start me. Oh God! Another facelift. Carrie. <laughs> Sorry. It's Carrie from Dublin. <laughs> Don't know what's so funny about you, Carrie from Dudley. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and there's nothing funny about me. Yeah. 
How disrespectful are you? What are you laughing at? How okay. nasty is she? She's not nasty. She's. La- I tell you, Only joking. No, I'm not hanging this out. I must confess, she's laughing about a very crude joke I made before we came on air. That's what she's laughing about, aren't you? It was. To, it was to do with the vagina. It was disgusting. Carry on. Oh, please, get Ashley or Becky out, please, Jamie. I, well, I, I don't have those powers, uh, Why not? unfortunately. Uh, well, you know, they, they, they try and stem my flow, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, Karen, why Ashley and Becky? Oh, because I just don't like him. Any particular reason? Oh, I can't say on air, but um, you can get the gist. <laughs> can't really say what I want to say. I've been told no swearing, no this, no that, so I can't tell you. Sorry. You can say what you fucking want, but unfortunately we've run out of time. That's all the calls we've got time for. Cut her off quick. Uh, I think we've all learned something from tonight, haven't we, guys? Uh, number one, don't steal push chairs from dogs, I think. Uh, I might need to take a moment to take it all in. Uh, whilst I'm doing that, check out what happened when I tested Caroline's knowledge of Scott. <laughs> She ordered enough chocolate to put Willy Wonka to shame and braved the spinning roundabouts in excess of one mile per hour, all with a towel wrapped permanently around her head. But they all pale into nothingness when compared with concentrate, hmm. housemate or best mate. <laughs> Caroline has chosen Scott as her favourite housemate. I don't know why. <laughs> Should she answer her questions about Scott correctly, she gets to leave with her head held high. If she fails... And she faces the horror of a pie in the face. Oh, my God. This week's pie features something Caroline isn't overly fond of. Is it fish eyes? It's fish eyes. Are you joking? Oh, my... Oh! Caroline, they're watching you. You can't do that to me again. Ready? Yes. What is Scott's biggest phobia? Is it A, frogs, B, cockroaches, or C, rapscallions? Um, cockroaches. That is wrong. The answer is frogs. Oh, what would Scott's rapper name be? Would it be A, Yellow Reggae, B, Scotty Squire, Gosh. or C, Scottalicious? A, Scotty Reggae. You're going for A, Yellow Reggae? I don't even know. I literally haven't got a clue. It is actually Scotty Squire. <laughs> Terribly. It's almost like you got pissed last night. <laughs> Where did Scott predict he would come in Big Brother? Is it first, A, definitely eight, first. B, first, or C, dragged out by security at the audition? He's just self obsessed. I'd go for first. First? Although, realistically, would he actually admit to. Yeah, I'll go for eighth. You're wrong, it was actually first. Oh, I got it right. You should have gone with your gut instinct. <sighs> if Scott had to marry an animal, what would it be? A, a dog, B, a cat, or C, a dragon-sized moth? Dog? That's correct. Yes! Dog, dog. Yes. Exploring back a small I victory know him there. I so well. Does Scott believe in aliens? Oh, God, I hope not. Um, he's like to say something really weird, though, like, to get that attention. So, like, he probably said yes. He did say yes, and he said, I am one. Oh, no. Oh, no. To steal one of your phrases, you must have the IQ of a palm tree. Oh, God. Are you ready to take it like a man? No. We don't do it, really. It's just for... We don't do it, really. <laughs> oh, my God. Can I go and wash? a bit on the side. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have been lusting after the latest news from the house. I just can't help it. <sighs> Here's today's news. <laughs> At 11.29 this morning, Dina does some exercise of a different kind. Um. Oh, can no one ever do that? It goes hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make this be the song. What's the crack? Oh, I'll see the mirrors. I'm getting cold so. Maybe she's been kissed in Ashley. Don't tell Lucas. And let's hope that the wind doesn't change. Uh, at 1.56 this afternoon, Lucas lets his hands do the talking. 
Do you know how flexible I am? You're not very. No. <laughs> can't even do that. Can't even, can't even, that is not even straight. That, that is, like, the only, the straight line, <clears throat> like, like, put it up, push it up. Keep your legs straight. Like, that, that, that's it. That? Yeah, that's it for me. Oh, girls. Mm. Got no bra on with all the with all the jelly on a plate. Ooh. <laughs> Watching that reminds me of my first date with Mr. Willis. Uh, and finally at 4:38 this afternoon, the nominations get on top of Luke. The comment that I made about Becky's PMI totally was like in the heat of the moment, and as soon as it left my lips. I regretted it, but obviously I didn't realise it would be broadcast to her. But Becky's in there, like, shouting about it, like, really loud at the top of her lungs, how disgusted she is with me. It's not... It's quite awkward. <laughs> I feel like this big. I don't know if there's any point in me being in here anymore. I mean, what's the point in putting myself through all this shit? I didn't sign up for this. What didn't you sign up for, Luke? for being shown as an arsehole. Every one of those people, when I first met them, I really tried to be nice to them, you know, tried to be civil to them. Now look at it. Oh, I'm so sorry for what I said to them. Luke A probably shouldn't have said that. Uh, so that was today's news from the house. Uh, right, let's go into the sweaty box. Disney Rich, how are you doing, Rich? Hello, all right, how are you going? I am good, thank you. We good. are going to be catching up with digital yes. in a minute, but first we're going to head up to the house because Jamie's up there. Jay, no, what's know. going on up there? Uh, Luke A's but still being very pensive and withdrawn. Is, is, he, is he sat there with Dina and Adam? He's with Dina and Adam, yeah, he's just behind Adam. If you can see him oh, I can there. see his arm. Yeah. Uh, looks like they've enjoyed a lovely dinner of uh, Nutella or chocolate spread mm, mm. and pancake lasagna, which is uh, obviously what we all wanted to oh see. Oh, my goodness. Um, Ashley, apparently, earlier on, has decided that if she's evicted on Friday, she's going to jump on the first plane to Ibiza. The other housemates pointed out to her that she can't do that because she's got to do a week on bots. Yeah. Her response was, she's not going to do bots. How dare she? What? How dare Dash. Well, I'll remind her of that when she comes out of that house. Exactly, exactly. If she comes out of that house, that is. Um, what else has been happening? Uh, Ashley and Luke are back being romantic. Uh, she tried to cut his armpit hair earlier on. Oh, nice. Uh, As you do. Now yeah. Sarah's just joined them. There she is. Uh, what else? Um, is she firmly ensconced with that group now, would you say? It looks like it, yeah. It looks like it. Becky and Scott are far over, far over there having a chat amongst themselves, but that's about it, actually. Emma, I'll, uh, I'll throw it back to you and your sweaty box. Okay, okay, thanks, Jay. Thank you very much, thank you very much. So, yes. Rich, what has the lovely online community been saying about nominations this week? Loving it. Absolutely yeah? loving it, yeah. Happy um, with the twist? Ecstatic with the twist, yeah. Um, even Ashleen, former Big Brother girl, has yes. got involved. Love Ashleen. She's, oh, no! Uh, I hope Becky and Ashley go. Oh. Um, but I'll tell you what, we do have. We have a little clip for okay, you. OK, let's have a quick look. This what is, is this? what happened with uh, Luke straight after that was all revealed that you saw earlier. OK. So, it is right. You know what I'm saying? It's just one thing. It's just one thing. Everyone has done lots and nasty things in here. It's not just you. That's just one thing. Terrible, terrible thing to say. Terrible. You've apologised, right? I've tried. OK, uh, we're out of time. Sorry, oh, Rich. Uh, that is all online, though, if you'd like yeah. to see all of it. Thanks to all of our guests this evening. Tomorrow, David Ramsden, Natalie Cassidy and Helen Lederer, plus Bodger and Badger Whoa. are going to be here. Up next, it's Banged Up Abroad. Good night. <laughs>